Um, I don't have a, a particular favorite book necessarily. Um, I like a lot of history, so a lot of historical nonfiction books, uh, autobiographies, uh, things of historical events, things like that. Um, with being a recent new dad, I kind of have fallen into the children's literature realm. Um, in a couple of the books that I like there, I brought with me, it was, uh, you know, I Couldn't Love You More, and then uh, Me and My Dad are two books that uh, Kale and I like to read together a lot, but, uh, but generally his, uh, a lot of historical nonfiction type stuff is what I like to read. Um, I do like Christmas movies a lot. Um, one movie that I tend to like the most, though, is, uh, I brought it with me, A Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, I will watch this movie repeatedly, multiple times throughout the Christmas season, and in a very close second is Ralphie's Voyage for the Red Rider, the official Red Rider carbine action uh, with a Christmas story. Um, that's a very close second, but ultimately, Charlie Brown Christmas is number one. Uh, yes, I did run the Pittsburgh Marathon, not this last year, but in 2010. Um, it was something I've wanted to do for a long time, just as kind of one of those bucket list type items. Um, people have asked me, will you ever run another marathon? And I would probably never run another marathon. I'll probably run it as part of a relay team, but it was a one, one time experience and something that you know, was, was really interesting, but next time it'll probably be part of a relay. So, yes, um, in my master's program is being a PA. I do have a concentration in rural primary care medicine, which there are two routes. You can do correctional medicine or rural primary care, or more family-based medicine. Um, and I purely picked that track mainly because if I did correctional medicine, I had to do a rotation in the prison, which I was not interested in doing at all. So I knew if I picked rural primary care medicine, I didn't have to do that. I did an additional kind of internal medicine family rotation, which is more of what I was interested in, in any way. So this is Kale. He's uh, seven, seven months old. Uh, he's my son. Um, he was born back at the end of March on, uh, with a condition called hypoplastic left heart syndrome, um, which basically means that he was born without the left side of his heart or the main pumping side. So um, he's going through a stage of three procedures to help kind of rework his heart to make the right side become his main pumping side and um, his next surgery will be um, when he's about two years old and after that will be uh, he'll have a whole new heart whole new shaped heart um, these kids are supposed to lead a life into adulthood the you know that every day is changing with the life expectations and what these kids can do physically and everything so he has done a lot to teach both myself and, and Tanya a lot about life, and uh, I mean, every day I wear a, a a bracelet on my on my hand here. It's this red bracelet, and there's four words on there. It's it's faith, hope, strength, and courage. Um, and he's taught us about each one of those things. Faith for the times that we to go through the times we can't control. Hope for better things through tomorrow. Uh, courage. He has more courage and strength than I can ever hope for. This kid's been through more than, than I can even imagine through his first seven months and suffered more than I hope that anyone would ever have to. But he's doing remarkably well. Every day is a blessing with him and uh, we couldn't ask for a better kid. These are Kale's beads. Um, they aren't all of them. He has a little bit, he has a couple more that we don't have attached here yet, but um, I think the last count we had on here was about 500, if not more. And they all represent something in Kale's life that he's been through. Um, whether it's a, a life-saving sa surgery, which, you know, this is one of his heart surgeries. Um, whether it was, you know, his initial discharge from the hospital right here. Um, these are special parent beads they give you whenever you leave the hospital as well. Um, you know... The, the Beads of Courage program is something that, that I love, and uh, Beth, the, one of the Child Life uh, supervisors, she laughs when she sees me, because I'm always like, Beth, where are beads? Um, but uh, I, I, I love the Beads of, Beads of Courage program. It's, it's amazing. It's, you know, Kale's never going to remember a lot of the things that he went through, but we'll remember them, and it's a way for us to share 
with him his story for, through the first part of his life that, he'll, that he won't remember, but we can always tell him about the time when he came out of surgery and you know they had to do um, different things and put him on life support and things like that. It's just it's, uh, it's a different way for kids to own their own story and be able to tell their story later. So I've always wanted to be in the medical field itself. Um, I can remember being little and watching William Shatner on Rescue 911 and just watching all these different medical shows and always being really interested in, in the med medical field. Um, my mom's been an ER nurse for 30 plus years. My aunt's been an ER nurse for 30 plus years. Um, so I've always been around medicine and uh, I can remember in elementary school just writing timelines about how I wanted to be a doctor or something and, you know, when I grew up. Um, but my love of sports and, and that kind of being able to pull medicine in with that um, kind of pushed me more towards athletic training at the very beginning. And, um, and it was uh, it's something that I really, really, really enjoyed and I'm really glad I can still do it here at Kids Plus with, um, through kind of a modified fashion, but can still do it. So the best thing about being a PA and working in pediatrics in general is just, it's just working with all the kids. It's, it's the things they say, it's the things they say that embarrass their parents when they say them. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's amazing. Um, you know, every day working with kids is, you never know what they're going to say. It's, uh, it's funny. Uh, it's great to see them grow up. Um, I've been here now almost five, four and a half years or so. And um, just this morning I saw a, a child that's four years old, and I'm pretty sure I've been seeing him for the majority of his life. And to see that he's four years old, we're talking about preschool, we're talking about kindergarten next year. It's just, you know, and remembering some of these younger kids and seeing them now that they're older, I'm just saying, I remember when you came from the hospital on your first visit, and it's, it's building a relationship with families, and it's following, it's, you know, through the tough times, through the good times, and, and the, just a lot of the relationships you build.